Hey guys, I messed up yesterday. It was a beautiful day and I took the machine to today's farm. With the weather being so nice, I was thinking I can leave it outside. It'll be fine in the morning. Turns out I was wrong. It freezing rained and then it snowed. So that shoot's gonna be a mess. I just grabbed the heater. Pedro's got a heater in his truck. So I'm gonna run to the farm. We're gonna get dual heaters running on that rig to get it warmed up as soon as possible. Pedro's gonna start trimming and we gotta go take an emergency call. All right, we just got to the farm. <clears throat> Actually, the chute doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. As far as ice goes, it's a little icy, but it's really not going to be that big of a problem. Look, we just got here. ¿Qué pasa? Huh? No, it's not bad at all. My truck was way worse. One of the comments I still get quite a bit is when do you ever wash your shoe? It looks like it needs to be cleaned. When's the last time you washed your shoe? We wash the shoe every single day between every single farm. Just like this. I'm gonna show you why we don't normally start videoing when we get to the farms. There is about 24 ish somewhere in there cows waiting for us. And as much as I like making videos for you guys, they're the priority. This comes second. And this shoot goes from clean to looking terrible in about 15 cows. And see, now Pedro's waiting for me. I'm dinking around on the camera. Farmer's waiting for us to get things taken care of. You're good. And while their cows are waiting for us, they don't want to look out and see us playing with the videos. But since we are playing with videos, I'm going to show you some really good skid loader operating skills here. This is so tight. Don't mess it up, you're on camera. He can't see this from where he's at. But we do it all the time. So I hope he can make it up that hill. I might have to throw some lime down for him. And I just saw something that bothers me. Cow slipping over here in the pen. So I'm gonna throw some lime down for it quick. Slippery floors is a problem and uh, as you're about to see we're gonna get Pedro set up here and I'm gonna take you guys on a little emergency call I hope we can make a video of it um it's very unfortunate but Kyle got her toe caught slipped and ripped the whole capsule off easy girls don't fall last thing I want is for a cow to fall while she's waiting to get a maintenance trip you guys something else too we clean our grinders and all the other equipment daily as well you're gonna see when he opens up this toolbox toolbox is frozen look at that all prepped from the end of the day last time it's just stuff I don't show on every video oh I gotta take these gates off still and that's another reason why we don't start at the beginning. Because now I'm trying to put a grinder in, gates in the way. Focus on one thing at a time. All right, so we're just gonna grab a few supplies here. We're gonna go do our emergency call. And you guys are gonna see how fast this clean machine turns into a dirty mess. Pedro will probably have about 30 cows done when we get back and it'll look like we never washed it before. All right, we got our supplies. We got some strong iodine. We got two sizes of Bovie Bond blocks. 
knife to clean the claw off. We're not gonna use a grinder because we actually trimmed this cow last month. So all I've gotta do is get a nice clean surface. And since we're gonna be picking her up by hand, I'll be able to get her cleaned off good enough with just a knife. Got her bobby blonde blue, a couple of tips, some wraps and gauze. I'm bringing a little bit of extra wraps and gauze just to leave with the farmer. All right, well, we're gonna go take care of that cow. You're good to go here, right? All right, we got about an hour drive from here to the farm that we got to go to. Well, we just got to the farm. I want to say a few things about what we're going to do here. This is a very unfortunate incident, something that couldn't have been prevented. It's an accident that happened, and in this case, this cow's got three different options. One is to get on the truck that doesn't come back to the farm. Two is have the veterinarian come and do an amputation, which I've seen go very well, and I've seen go not so well, as we haven't completely ruled that out. But the third option is to clean it up, dress the wound, put a block on it, and watch her and, and see how she does. Before I grab my stuff, we're gonna go in and take a look and see what we got. Hey, Bruce. I love walking in this barn, how clean the cows are. She belongs in that stall, and she's still in that one, so she must have backed up and stood in there. And usually, if they pull straight up, it's fine, but she must have spun all the way around. It's the law of averages, you know, we have accidents too. Um, not everything can be prevented. Uh, here is the claw capsule. The one good thing is it looks like the corium came out really well and it's not It's, it's a clean, lot. I guess. Yeah, that, you know, I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. It would be bad if there was a lot of corium left in there. Oh. Um, we'll have to block her up or look at it and block her up and see. But as you can see, she's obviously pretty lame. She's definitely gonna walk better with the block on. I can guarantee that much. The really good thing is that it's not swollen. This just happened last night. Bruce called me in the evening. Got here as soon as I could. Come on, big girl. You'll be okay, you'll be okay. One of the other good things about this is Bruce is such a big guy. He can pick the foot up pretty easy while I work on it. I'm gonna try to get you guys as much as possible, but we also gotta get this done as fast as possible. Mm. Easy girl. There's gonna be people commenting about me being disgusting using my bare hands. As well. Here, I'll tell me, I didn't heal fast. Dry her up three months, that'll be a new one. Well, well, it takes about a year. Oh crap, well then, then that's a whole different story. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. I still am ruling out amputation, but we'll start with this. Show you guys quick. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show, ah, right in the eye. You guys got it on the camera too. Oh well, everybody poops. All right, so her whole capsule has come off. I'm just gonna scrape this claw off. We're gonna put a block on, treat her with iodine, rewrap her up. Oh, right in the head, girl. Look at the tail. I just brought a knife because, well, I know your, your hooves are so hard. And um, I, I had the grinder in my hand, the extra one. And I thought, if anything's gonna make her kick, that's what it's gonna be. So, she was one we just trimmed, whatever that was. Right. That was the other thing is I knew she'd have a good balanced hoof because we just trimmed her. Uh, I'll go back through the footage and see if I included her in that video that we made when we were here. What's her name, Bruce? Piz. P I Z Z. Piz. P I Z Z. It's Piz. Oh, yeah, mother name. Grandma Pizza, and then there was a Pizang, and then Piz. I don't think she's ever had any footage that I can She's got a beautiful one claw, honestly. Sounds a bit better than the, which one do you say the back foot puts more weight on? It's, this is the better one if it's something like this is gonna happen. Yeah. It's better to put the block on the inside. And I'm able to do really well because she's standing so well That's for us. That's because she's eating. <laughs> she doesn't, she doesn't she even care. Okay, 
right in the head, girl. Come on. It's cold. It keeps smacking me in the head with the all right, so we're gonna use our Bovie Bond XL block. I like these, especially for her, because we need elevation. She needs traction and the extra width and length for stability. Okay, girl, now is not the time to start kicking. Should be warm. Yeah, I had it on the floor of my truck. Double check, I got the right side. I'm gonna need you to hold still, girl. I'm gonna get covered in glue here because I'm gonna put lots on. She's not gonna hold super still, I bet. Yeah, oh, girl. That's why I put lots on. Making me look bad. Actually, that's good though. She got, she got as much on her as I got on me, and I put double, so we should be good. All right, so we got her block on here, even with the tip of her toe. We got a little bit covered in it. Best thing to do is let that dry and then rip it off. A little skin comes with it, but it'll be okay. Yeah. I say once I got it wrapped, though, it never bled through the wrap. So. Yeah, well, you had her wrapped tight, which is great for yeah, well. yesterday. Today, we're not going to wrap her as tight yeah. because she's elevated. And we want her to have blood flow still. Yeah. Now, I thought at the beginning you gotta hold it, you know, yeah, as tight yeah. as possible to get it to get it to quit. But after that, same with an amputation. Kind of suffocate, suffocate. Easy, girl. There once or twice well in the case of an unfortunate circumstance like this it went as well as it could go we're just gonna have to keep an eye on it she'll be treated for her pain and probably treated for infection in advance just to prevent infection and walk her back yep. see how good she walks I'll clean all that up later and that's not blood on my hands that's iodine Come on, big mama. Sometimes it takes them a few minutes to figure out that block is there and they can walk. Well, even now, that you was the one brought her here. What's that? Put more weight on it. Yeah, and it, it takes them a little bit to figure out about the block too. Oh yeah. Um, but she's already doing much, much better. Yeah. We didn't want to treat her with anything in advance because we wanted to see what the situation was, what the outlook, what the outlook looked like. But I think that's going to be the route. I can't make those suggestions um, but farmers and veterinarians can Here you go girl got her own little hospital room here for a couple days well I think that's about as good as it could be all right we are going to get back to Pedro again that was about as good as it could have been the best of a bad situation if you want to call it that I actually think she's gonna wind up being okay. I'm not gonna say she doesn't have a long road ahead of her, but I have high hopes for that cow. So I'm gonna put you guys back down and pick this glue off of my fingers. 
Okay, I know I could have worn nitro gloves, but it probably bothers you more than it bothers me. Okay, we just got back to the farm where Pedro's trimming. We're gonna run in and see how it's going here. Looks like Pedro's probably having lunch. Oh my goodness, what a mess he made. Look at this machine. Looks like he's never washed it before. So it looks like he's got 35 cows done. So for those in question, we wash it every day and it looks like this at the end of every day. Hey man, what happened? I was only gone for three hours. It's just how it goes. All right, let her rip, tater ship. So this cleaned out, it got very, very close. We do kind of have a little hole here. So I'm gonna dish this, vent it, I should say, to the outside so that nothing packs into this hole. This is our main weight bearing claw on the front foot, so it's gonna be fine. And if we weren't doing maintenance on our cows, we wouldn't have found this until probably next week. She would have had a major problem, lucky for her. Lucky for this big mama, she came in on maintenance. It's not gonna be a problem. She don't wanna be on video, huh? Watch you trim. Pedro kind of had a little bit of the same problem on that inside claw as I had. Not as severe as the one on the right. Okay, I'm going to put this down to the side. We got to get these cows done. There's six left in this group. And the farm's waiting for them because this group is going to the parlor now. Alright, this is a new group, so a little bit of the pressure for time, so I'll get you guys a little more footage. Yeah. A couple things I want to show you guys. Um, 
highlighting this machine is how comfortable the cows are in the machine while we're, while we're trimming the feet. I have a foot up in the air right now. You can see it. She's good to go with me. Pedro's back here trimming a foot. What? So she has two feet up in the air. He's working on one right now. And she's totally relaxed and fine. I'll put you down and let you watch her face while we're trimming her. Another thing I want to show you guys, and I'll admit that even when I watch the videos, it looks to me like when the front leg lift pulls these feet up, that it might hurt the cows or, or that it's awkward for them. Well, you can see from her face, it's not awkward for her. And I'm going to show you real quick. Now, if I can do this by hand, then it's really not pulling on her too hard. Right, big girl? Nothing to it, huh, girl? Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye.